I like the idea of of not having to perform anymore. I'm not quitting life, but I just I don't want to. Also, the environment now is is so. Uh, Hostile and uh, sensitive. I, I mean, oh. it, it exhausts me. Yeah, it exhausts me. I. That's not to say that I think it's wrong. I think it's. I think it's probably right. But I don't want to. I don't want to add my voice to it. Without getting into specifics, I've never thought of you as an edgy kind of. I'm not coming like a sharp wit, but not edgy. Do mm. you feel like there are areas you used to live? 15 years ago, five years ago that you couldn't now? No, I don't think so because I was never really my thing, like you say. But what I do feel is that I don't know where you guys get your news, right? But I I don't know where to go. All media is now social media. Everything is garbage. You know, if when Twitter becomes a source, everything is garbage. That's like, are you going to the bathroom? You see what someone wrote on the wall on a Sharpie and you use it as a fucking quote. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, it, and it's legit. It's like, uh, it's like, um, you ever watch toddlers play soccer? When you see your kids play soccer and toddlers, they, just, they all just run after the ball and then mm-hmm. they run after the ball. No one plays the fucking game. They just don't run after the fucking ball like idiots because kids are. And that's, that's kind of the way I think the media is now. And I, I don't feel I can contribute anything of any worth to it. You know, I've, I'm happier thinking, I, I'll do a game show. I'm doing a game show for ABC. And okay. a game show works because you reference the world that you're in. You know what I mean? It's like, this is the world. This is what we're dealing with. I don't have to comment on this or say a thing about that I'll or get be you part now. of it. I can just be contained in the world in which I'm inhabiting. And that's why I, don't, I, wouldn't, I would never do another late night show or, or a, a radio show or a conversation show because I feel like, weirdly enough, not here, which I probably would have a couple of years ago. I'd be like, I better be careful because Jason will get me to say something really horrible. But I that's don't- That's my f- main objective. Yeah, but I don't- <clears throat> I don't feel like I'm, 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 you're waiting for me to say something objectionable or even you can take it out of context and get it on a website or yeah. something. But I think when you do publicity now, you have to be like, what the fuck, man, I don't know. I Be careful. I don't want to. No, a lot of big name. <clears throat> we were just talking about this bit. There's a lot of A-listers out there now that won't sign the waiver for the replay because they, they, don't, they, they don't want us to have the rights of any of the words that came out of their mouth in the interview because they don't trust the media. They think that maybe we might go, hey, I don't, did you I know? don't think it's just people. I don't, I don't think anyone trusts the media. Do you trust them? Do you trust the no, media? No, but I don't I have don't to worry know. about it. Yeah. I mean, I, I have a, I no, have a I mean, show where I've admitted. I mean, in, I mean in, in, in the sense of do you think the, that you're getting truthful information when you go on to it? No. How do you, how do you navigate that? I mean, I, it's a genuine question because I don't know how to navigate it. Even the, sor- the, the oh, really? people that I used to consider mm-hmm. reliable sources, I don't really. Well, what's, it, what's, what's an example of that? New York Times. Okay. Like you go to the New York Times and you think, okay, well, whatever's going on in the world, if I go to the New York Times, it's going to be, this is going to be a pretty measured response. Known as the paper of record. Right. Yeah. I don't feel that that, that exists at that paper anymore. Do but it, it, I feel more like there is every outlet has, it seems to me, has an agenda. Do you know what I mean? It's like mm-hmm. places that, that used to have no, or op-eds were marked as op-ed, don't feel like they're marked legitimately anymore. Like, I don't feel, like when I started this tour, mm. uh, I said, I'm never going to record this as a stand-up special. And then I recorded it as six stand-up episodes of a stand-up special. And someone said to me, you said at the beginning that you weren't going to do it. I said, yeah, I lied. <laughs> and, and, and I thought you were going like, to give a total different answer. No, just no, no, I lied, and and I feel no compulsion <laughs> to tell journalists the truth. If no one else is fucking doing it, why the fuck do I have to do it? So if a journalist asks me a question, I'm under. I don't feel under any obligation to to give an honest answer. I don't think anyone else is. 